In the golden age of space exploration, NASA's Apollo program was ready to push even further. Missions Apollo 18, 19, and 20 were planned as the next giant leaps for mankind, set to build on the success of the first moon landings. But what were they all about, and why didn't they ever launch? These would have been J-type missions, just like Apollo's 15 through 17. That meant longer stays on the lunar surface, using the rovers for greater distances, and conducting more detailed scientific investigations. The goal was to study lunar geology, volcanism, and the history of impacts in scientifically significant locations. Each mission had a specific target. Apollo 18 was slated for Schroeder's Valley, a huge volcanic rill with the famous Copernicus Crater as a backup. Apollo 19's early target was Hyginus Rill, another volcanic region, though they later considered Hadley Rill, which became the site for Apollo 15. And Apollo 20 was most often linked with Copernicus Crater, but Tycho Crater and the Marius Hills were also on the table for volcanic study. But the final missions never happened. After the Apollo 11 landing, public and political interest began to wane. This, combined with budget cuts and a new focus on projects like the Skylab space station, led to their cancellation. The hardware was either repurposed or became museum exhibits, a quiet end for what could have been. Had they flown, these three missions would have forever changed our understanding of the moon.